Oh my god, these are the dumbest filters. Dumbest shit. How do you have that? Same drink, pass for shot. Yeah, that's the duster shot you're on. There you go. Diva. Mm -hmm. I did you carry Josh literally said he wanted to do karaoke with me. I didn't really do karaoke. He's like, as long as we don't work, I don't care. Like, you can record it for us. I'd love to have done karaoke with you. I've told, I've never done it. And I said, I didn't even have to be drunk. But Josh, I could do that sober. But before, I said, even if I was drunk, I could my shell completely sober. From knowing Josh and I, I would. I would absolutely. Why is it? Yeah, we have a few bad fights here in the blizz purple. He even said himself, Sharon and Ozzy have been- He literally was talking like we were back together. It's not gonna be fucking rainbows and fucking- And anyone in a real relationship. It's not gonna be- I don't- I'm just too stupid. Romanticide. And Josh even called me Cinderella. I'm like- I call myself Cinderella and I don't- Josh called me Cinderella. But just because we had one bad fucking time together. <laughs> the gates all the good times we had. All the good times we had watching the comedy shows and listening to music. Just have it. When Josh, he would dance. I don't care about this man. He people just want your fucking amusement. I actually... I still do. Even though I probably shouldn't. I just don't do care about him. Because he people I see how he could still be offered to take him to Home Depot several, oh, several times. And then after the live stream, after earning... Earning? Learning that he earned money to make a I, I offered to take him to Home Depot. He didn't want none of that. You know, this stuff here is clear, but I'm, I, whatever Wyoming does gets the shit I need out. I was like, why do you think my nose is so fucking messed up? Three times I've been in Wyoming, I've been able to get the nastiest shit out. When I come here... And I'm not even, I, I, the only reason I'm getting stuff out now is because I'm still sick. Literally, the day I came home, I came home literally on the dot at 12 a.m. Was I in Virginia before 12 a.m.? Yes. I just wasn't in Virginia Beach at 12. I came home, Virginia Beach, 12 a.m. on the dot. 2 a.m. on the dot, I got sick. It literally, my throat was on fire and my ears. And then ever since then, it's been my son. And then... <laughs> Well, well, we'll coagulate on that, I guess. I don't <laughs> Jesus. For the fuck of God. What is that? What? What is this plug into? What is this? What is this? Okay, so that exactly. What is that perfume? <sighs> oh, which mountain? Is this? I don't know. I'm gonna say Argentina. What is that? And my computer's not gonna be a piece of shit. Oh, you could have helped. You you were not there anymore. When was the last time I and actually you know and I to my site. And Shane, you click baited for almost a yeah, you well they Fair got almost they have almost a million views on this. No, I'm just a small moment together. We'll take the help. Hello. They're almost at a million views. Whatever the number, they, they're almost at a million views for this song alone. Holy shit. Dismiss. Nope. From the start. From the start, devil got the way. We are the stars up in the sky. We gather when so you are sleeping. Oh, 
I would, oh, I would do anything. We are the forces in the rain, we are unending answer to all your fears. Okay, well, I need to see him. I, I will absolutely melt into the ground. Melt. I'll be comfortable. I still have for my shot. Follow the signs of the crimson thunder. We will stay by your side. May our voices be there to guide you. Follow the signs of the crimson thunder. We will stay by your side. Let our voices be there to guide you. <sighs> and Josh, yeah, I like that. I'm gonna play. I don't know. Figure Need it out. Inspiration? Shop Kroger for thousands of appetizing ingredients. I don't know if I'll remember it. I don't. I don't like the way he looks. Digital looks, but I'll... it's not. That's kind. Is it this one? It's time to help people customize and save with Liberty Mutual. A Taco Bell taco filled with slow roasted chicken. On with a crispy white pork roll. This is it! I don't like his face music. His face music. These people made him this way. They made him. They made him so and so and finally come so many people. And then he wants to call me a sex addict with methamphetamine by Cradle Filth. He literally tells me what that song is about as if I don't know. And he wants to put that. No, I would give Josh the whole fucking world if I could. So what he wants to say something. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense when I would give Josh the fucking world. And I tried to give him the world because you people have done the worst to him. What if you had an Asperger's autistic? You think they're not worthy of love, of kindness? Of friendship? I know about him being rejected since. But literally when I was still his girlfriend and he's making videos about being rejected. Uh, what do you think that makes me feel like when I'm the only person here giving him what he. But you people still have him going on about his fourth grade rejection. I get it. When Josh thinks that I think the worst of me, no. If I actually have the balls to go up to a guy and tell them I feel certain, I, I, I've got something in me that I think I, I have to offer. And if it's not all about looks and all this stuff, then okay, then what? Focus on what I have to offer. <laughs> and somehow I lost my train of I love Josh. I love him. You, you people. Do the worst to him, day in, day out, on a daily basis, for so many years. And then someone genuine comes along and he can't even tell if I'm a troll or not. And then, but he's still talking about if I'm a troll? He's still talking about if I'm a fucking troll? You people have mentally deranged him so fucking bad. After seven months, we should be together for seven. You, you people have done this to him? I was always taught my just because someone's differently able than you, you, you don't make them listen. And why are you people doing this to him? He has 
disabilities and so do I just because they're not the same. I fucking love him. I see what he can offer to the world. He can be such a sweet fucking man. And you people want to bring out the worst. And me and Chad had so many good... One day, one bad day minus the little Instagram thing. And I'm sorry if he doesn't fuck. One day out of 11. 11 is almost fucking two weeks. And even then, I was in Casper for third, And it even wasn't a full... So two days not with Josh. 14 is two weeks. I wasn't even Casper a whole week. But almost. Not even. Not even almost. And not even with jo Almost. Close, but not. That me and Josh had good days except for one f And the other day, back to back. You, you people want to see the worst out of him. When I know what he can do, the I literally offered to take people to several. The cemetery. No, we had to watch three. And then by the time, oh, I need to take a nap. And then he takes a nap. And then it's, oh, well, we could not. No, we could have gone. If we would have gone when I wanted to go, we would have had plenty of time by the time it rained. We, we, we would have had plenty of time if we actually went to the cemetery when I wanted. We would have had plenty of time. And then, oh, no excuses the next day. Oh, well, what was the excuse? And, oh, it was raining. And so do you know why on my last day, September, that he said next time? Because we never did Crimson Dawn or the cemetery. You want to know why he said next time? Because of that. But then I come home and he's making nasty videos about me. And then not even the day I, I told him, I said, Josh, I'm going to message you when I get home around this time. Expect me to message you around this time. Look for my message. And he said, okay. He'd rather make nasty, but you care and pretend that I come home safe. Who is your audience? Fans or fucking trolls? Who who are you? Real fans would want the best for your trolls want the most for who is your audience? <laughs> Josh, he knows I don't like his facial makeup, but I like this. I'm like, you look like the Joker. Shopping for a great brand on trust? Want the very best deal? Then you need to check out everything Car Direct USA has to offer. F-150s, Silverados, Tundras, Rams, Sierras, gas or diesel. We have I dozens of trucks for you to choose from. Tonight. Every one of them featuring our... <sighs> and Josh, he wants to say he has ugly eyes. 
in that Ozzy Ozzy Osbourne does have beauty, and so does jo his eyes are not fully brown. Joshy needs to come out of the negative. His eyes are not. Full. People wanted to say I have nice like Joshy. Joshy has way more beautiful eyes than I do. If he would only let him in his utmost of intimost. Yeah, you people are. Yeah. I said what I said. He thinks he has shit, bro. No, you don't. I just saw something. I don't know where it came from. I just saw. A picture of Joshy's eyes a few minutes ago, and I was like, your eyes are, they're, you're so beautiful. You know, that was my song to Josh. That was my song to Josh. You are so beautiful. <laughs> that was my, I mean, you've only played it once, and he probably doesn't. That's what this is <laughs> I gave it to him, but I was like, no, you're probably not going to like it for me. Listen to it like this chair. tried to give him the best way before I've only knew him. You people have, you people have tried. If only I was given the money people have given him. I could literally start from the bottom now. It would be from all of my subscribers. Everyone. Everything. And I have nothing. Josh has the subscribers and he's still in his show. Yeah, I uh, trust daddy. He still calls me. I don't even know the line. And you're supposed to be begging because they're smoking on smoke. I'm so beautiful to meet you. I'm so beautiful to meet you. Can you through a career that was more I love this song and you do it all you're not no see I go there with me I'm 
Joshua doesn't know himself, but he's allowed to self, and I don't have any of that on me. He's alone. I love Josh. I literally, as soon as I start, okay, this one and Jenny, this song and Jenny, I'm going to bed. Fuck off. Believe it. I'm amazing. I'm so awesome. Yeah, I'm grateful for this day. I put my heart in. I'm so worthy. I'm so grateful for everything. I'm so proud of myself for accomplishing everything. I'm amazed. I'm so awesome. Yeah, I'm grateful for this day. I put my heart in. I'm so worthy. Thankful for everything. I'm so proud of myself. I'm like, I have no need to change my mind. I'm so special. You have a purpose. I'm a blessing to this earth and I'm worth it. I feel free. I feel peace. But these blessings raining down on me. I am safe. Yeah. 
Jen Kagan's positions on reproductive care are as extreme as they come. She even called an abortion ban common sense. Politicians should have no say in a woman's reproductive care. Jen Kagan's is too... At Dollar General, save even more on weekly essentials with even lower prices. And crab, what was it? Yeah. And with your home loan, the vote in our VL bundle with Progressive, you're free to just enjoy this. Almost makes everything else fade away. Are you done? Get in the house. All 
Amber. Oh, yeah, when I do talk to Amber, like, Bitsy goes off and does her own stuff. Like, Amber um, just like, wants like, to be loved. Amber just wants to be loved. Exactly. When I talk to her, she calls me when uh, Bitsy, uh, Bitsy goes out of town and stuff, and she'll call me, and I'll be like, how you doing with her being out of town? And she's like, I am just fine. She can stay gone longer. And I'm like, yeah, hey, welcome to every marriage. <laughs> honestly, honestly, I love my husband, but if we stay on top of each other for too long, we'll kill each other. You know? Literally, the, 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 literally the day I met Betsy, or Bit, Betsy, Bit, Bet, she Betsy, knows, Betsy, Betsy just, Betsy, yes, Betsy, yeah, Betsy, Betsy, you're, yeah, yep. Literally, the day I met her, she looked me up and down like she was a a bite. She's con- just jealous. A bite. She, uh, she she's a bite sized king cobra, wanting to fucking suck. But jealous of what? Well, I mean, I guess if you're a lesbian, you think every woman out there wants your own woman, you know? But yeah, that's, that's just, just like fun. that's just like every straight man that thinks every gay. No, baby Tell me doll. Tell about it, because I am married to a straight man. Tell me about no, it. No, baby Tell doll. Just it. because you're fucking gay, every goddamn gay man does not want your fucking faggot ass. Oh, That's I said right. the F word. Right. So if if Facebook takes... I said, I said one bad F word on Facebook. So if they take me down the... I don't know. They, they be putting people on Facebook jail all the time. I don't say... I work at a hospital, so I... I mean, I'm active, I see stuff, but I don't post a lot. I'm not allowed to post. So I'm and, uh, and I, literally, I've loved you as one of Amber's cousins. You were, oh, you yes. Were, you were the crazy. Still am, honey. Crazy as shit. I or know, but you, you are so hilarious. More, I, I more, 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 more hilarious than, and I, look, if I have to give myself any praise, I'm funny. But you are way you are. You are way funnier than me, I'm and I always love you. I call that trauma. N- no, that's my self-defense mechanism. <laughs> yeah, because you, I, I get it. I, I'm not gonna not. But I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm not denying. Right. So I had to call you because I've seen some of the stuff you've been posting, and I'm like, no, this isn't right. I'm not and denying. I understand why you're doing it. I'm not denying your you. pain. You're. I want you to understand that. Hey, you're not fucking ugly. I look at you, and I'm like, oh my god, you are so pretty. But when you surround yourself with all that negativity and you start to believe it, it will become you. And you've got to get away from this guy. I know you love him and all this is the only guy. This guy's got serious issues. He's causing you serious issues. And it's dangerous. But so even, even, is- even when I've never had any, when I've literally presented myself as like, I, I could be your everything. You don't need to be someone. That, you gotta be your everything. No, baby. I know, you know but I, mean? I know. But what I'm saying is, like, people see me, whatever. But when I first presented myself, like, I could be anybody's, like, whatever. Right. Like you're just who you are. People are not responsive. Don't worry about them. They're not for you. They're not for you. You will embrace your own style. I, your own I, I, I don't even know the last time I. Tried. I would love you to see. You. I'm so far away, baby. I'm. Uh, where are you at? I'm in. I'm in Texas. So uh, I'm still in I'm, Virginia. I've never I'm been. So, in, I've never been in Texas. Well, shit. You don't want to come right now. We're still hot. We're still hot. Well, what do you? What um, do you mean? What do you mean by that? Uh, let's see. We have a uh, summer, and then we have a uh, winter for about two weeks. So right now, I'm still sitting in the nineties. I don't care. I don't mind the heat. I've been in, I've been in Wyoming. I felt the almost a hundred degrees. Oh, that's actually. Oh yeah, we get up to one ten in July. I don't go outside. Fuck that. I would die. I tell my husband all the time. So when I moved here, I met him, and I said, "Who the fuck wanted how, to how live did here?" You, how did you meet him? At my job when I first moved here, my mom lives here. She lives about forty minutes away from me in another city. So my mom needed some help, so I came down. So I got a job at um, this big-time grocery store company. They're actually the number one grocer in the entire United States, but they're only in Texas. So they're pretty big. Um, So I got hired there, and within the first two months of me working there, he kind of came into the store. I said, hey, I said, you're pretty good looking. And he said, well, thanks. And the next day he came in, he's a taxidermist. What you got? Oh, he's a, oh, can he make me a goddamn jackrabbit? If you, well, he's got to get the body, because they're really animals. But if wait, a jack ra- awesome, wait, a jackrabbit, wait, a jackrabbit, I thought a jackrabbit was not a real. Oh, yeah, no, they're real. They're real. 
but we don't have them locally. But if he ever comes across one, he could absolutely bound it. He could, He's a fucking t- like a yeah, he's a taxidermist. You know the right. house. You know the house that the one in Wyoming had fucking. I think. Uh, don't even ask me. It might have been a male and female. They a male and female deer like on some kind of thing, and something, oh, yeah, kind of something, yeah. something within that house saw me. Something, yeah. uh-huh. something within that house. It, it, but but if all of the back, like the ground doors aren't secure. Like, especially the back door, whatever, that I've never tried. Uh, something was in that house. Oh, I'm sure. I mean, there's lots of things out here, you know. Well, yeah, but this is going. Wyoming. You could only, if you cannot get in within that back door, you could only get in within the second floor flying through the windowsill. Oh, oh. Girl, God. I don't know what it was. I want Be this. Careful. I, I want this house, though. I want it. <laughs> something draws you to it, eh? Uh, something. Well, I don't know what, but you know, the the back. Never get the money to come down. You let me know. I work at a hospital. My husband's. I've never, shop. I've never been to Texas, and I could have been to Texas as a fucking teenager. Stephanie, do you remember Stephanie? I do remember Stephanie. I remember she was kind of a bitch though. Uh, yeah. A little bit. Little bitch. Not, not no, even, I'm not not even a little bit, but, um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've never been to Texas. I will regret out of anything I've, I've never been to Texas. Even in one of my layovers when I was supposed to come to Casper, I was supposed to go to Texas, but they canceled that out. And I was kind of upset about it. Like, even though it was a layover, I was kind of upset about that because I've never been to my mom lived in Texas for a little bit, and she's also lived in Colorado, and she's oh, also awesome. she's that's also right she's also been to Wyoming as well. And I have relatives. Oh, I have relatives that have lived in Wyoming. So yeah, Wyoming's a little bit drier and flatter. We uh, yeah, flat no Texas. baby doll. You come to fucking Virginia, be- no Wyoming has the hills. Does it? Okay, good, good. Now, I'm in South Texas, so I'm three hours from Mexico. Um, Wyoming. Right outside, of, uh, right outside of San Antonio. Wyoming, you fucking turn, you got the mountains. There you go, there you go. Well, I'm about three minutes away from what we call hill country, so we, we get up there. But yeah, I've got cows on one side of my house and cows on the other mm-hmm. side. I've actually been late to work because there were cows on the road. Oh, and you can't make a move. And I'm like, so yeah, bitch. you don't. Do not dare. I've never honked no. at. I've never you honked. I've never honked yeah, at a cow, but I've honked at a deer. And you know what they did to me? They turned around and headbutted me. Yeah, they will. Cows are way more deadly than deer. And not, so not, not there, like. Not my brain. My car. My car. Yeah. Yeah, they will. They absolutely will. I got an acre and a half out here. Um, I I live literally in the middle of nowhere. It takes me 20 minutes to get to town. God damn. Fuck you. You're a lucky so, woman. How do, how do I do that but still be pure? Pure. Well, the country is the purest place you can be. And I know. In Wyoming. Wyoming has... Literally, you know what Virginia Beach is. You think, oh my God, there's no land I'll here. Never go back there. I'm like, you couldn't pay me to go back there. Yeah, there's like, no, there's no land here in no. Virginia Beach. Oh, you I'm go, like, no. you go out to Wyoming. You, you look out. There's land for days. Mm-hmm. You don't need all of that land. You just want enough. Virginia well, I got an acre and a half. I've got seven. Virginia like Beach. Virginia Beach doesn't have that. No. It's congested. You can't see the night sky. And I could go out here and tell you, like, whenever the planets are out, like, you know, like, so most often you're going to see Venus, but you can actually see it. Like, I, don't I love small, you, Megan. I, don't... I would fucking goddamn love to fucking see. Yeah, girl, let me know whenever you can come. I will, I work four days on, three days off. So it's not like, I mean, I don't really have to request off. It's just, I work, I work in the emergency room. Um, so I work 12 hour shifts. So I do four days on, and then I have three days off. I have one on-call weekend a month, uh, what is which means it? I can't really, can't really party. I just have to sit still in case my phone rings. That's, and then I got a whole I don't care. I, I, I just, I literally, 
want company. I don't I don't have to drink. I drink because I'm dead inside. Oh well, yeah, yeah, we all get there. I I I've been there, been there, done that, um, you know, and I drink just because well to be honest with you, there ain't a whole lot to do out here in the country besides. But do you think there's a lot to do out in Cass? I don't care. I don't care. I love I love Cass for Wyoming. It's so beautiful. Then that's where you need to. That's that. That needs to be your goal. You need to. You need to get away from this guy. He's he, obviously. But he li- he, li- he lives in Casper, and it has oh, nothing to do the, with. But the same with, hold on, he has he he doesn't leave his trailer unless it's for two reasons, and I'm not even. It has he nothing. Doesn't work. There's no job. There's just. But if I could fucking make a living out of, you know, people rebuilding stuff, I could, you know how people do that. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Especially down here. Let me tell you something. Like, if I had a dollar, like, there are so many parts in my carport. My husband literally collects stuff. in like pieces of metal. He's like, I'm not throwing that away. I'm going to do something with it. And I'm like, any day you're ready. Hey, I'm all for, I'm all for your, hey, I am all for your, like, just like Josh. He saved aluminum cans, but Josh has the space to sit. I used to say, in aluminum, you don't get nothing for. But I'm all for I'm all for your husband saving the because you. Where else is it gonna come? From? Yeah, no, he. One of these days, he's gonna. I mean, we collect all the stuff, you know, and now you know. I, I would. Be, I would be the woman all for my man collecting all the fucking. He does. I don't know why we have so many different refrigerators, though. I'm like, okay, listen. <laughs> I, oh, listen, I need... Come on, you're messing with my car appeal now. <laughs> because they might have the... Um, don't even ask me what it is inside, but they... Like, oh, the parts, yeah. You know what I'm... Yeah, the parts. Like, yeah, he's more the lady, than I am. The lady parts, okay? The, yeah, but yeah, I mean, I'm more of a... I'm more of a crafter. I run the business. I don't know if you're on the actual business page, but so his company is McGrath Tax. That's over. I just I just manage it. Like I order the materials he needs. I do all the ads. I do the merchandise. I, I I'm the talker. But I know I you're the girl. Work. You've always been the talker. Yes, ma'am. I will sell. I will sell the shit out of something. <laughs> Fuck around. I'll sell you. Fuck around and and, and smelt out. That's right. She'll smell yeah, your ass so. for ass, grass, cash. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But when I met him, he handed me a business card and said, call me. And um, I was like, oh, okay. So I, like, stalked him for, like, three days. And I was like, fucking, t- I'm, I'm from Virginia Beach. I'm like a fucking taxidermist. Three days? Okay, I'm from Virginia Beach, too, and there's taxidermists. Girl, there's taxidermists all day in Casper, Wyoming. Hook me the fuck what? up. Hook me up. It's a business. I know it's a business. I've seen I've seen the fucking bus they've had of the wildlife. Hook. Oh yeah, I mean you'll have to go on our business page because all of that is just him. So everything that you see on that business page, that's an animal. Well, you would on. you would have to show me what your like. That's literally what he's doing is taxidermy. Yeah, he's licensed. Yeah. That that's like he's straight. Like, is he doing anything else, or that's it? That's, that's all he does is taxidermy. Jesus he has a, um, Christ. He has a business license, and that's all he does. Like, I have the house here, and then there's a whole other house, like a smaller house that we converted into his, like, shop. So it's, it's nothing. I have an office in there. That's where I deal with all the clients that come in. Then you go in, and he's got a, the skinning room. And I wish I want to be that to my Joshi. I want to be. Why? Why? Why do I always feel well, everything in life? You, it's not you. He has problems. Like, I read some of the stuff you were saying about him. Like, he all he does is drink, and then he's got, obviously, he's got health conditions because of his drinking, but he won't stop. And then he's got issues with, I guess, I guess his bathing and stuff like that because of his alcohol addiction. And these are things that, I'm going to tell you right now, when it comes to an addict, and I have dealt with addicts. And I'm going to tell you something, just don't tell anybody else. My sister, my baby sister, she's been clean for five years. Now, five years ago, and she's got two kids. Got her older than five. She met a bad guy. And my mom, I was still I was still in Virginia when this all started. I've been here for seven years. My mom's calling me saying, look at these pictures of your sister. What do you think it is? And I took one look at these pictures. And I said, she's fucking on heroin. So when I got down here... I took a long look at her, and I did the evidence, and my sister was hooked on heroin. My sister got on her knees and said, Megan, I don't want to be like this anymore. I said, okay. 
So we gotta get rid of this guy. I said, this guy's shy. He goes, we gotta get rid of him. I said, you're gonna... He said, well, I don't want to do this by myself. I said, I'll take you to every single doctor's appointment. I said, every step of the way, I'll take you. And I took her. you a guardian of angel. I took her, and she's been clean for five years. She has her kids back. She's actually fatter than me now. I mean, I'm a tiny little thing, but that girl's on blue up. Girl, you're she's not healthy. fat. I will fucking buy every goddamn old nucky within your no. fucking Texas no, ass. No, I can't. I can't. I've had so many health problems in the last five years. I won't ever gain any weight. Like, I mean, they, I've had two murders removed from my colon, and... You, you've never you been fat. You've, you've been such no. a sassy, 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 and I'm oh, sassy yeah. too, but people can't handle it. But from you, they love it. You got so you gotta just you gotta be yourself. You gotta stop. Don't don't change yourself to fit this guy. And I know that you you love him, but if he's got these spending issues, you gotta understand. One thing about this is that I was never gonna be able to help my sister, and my mom would have gonna help my sister. My sister hasn't told me. I don't want to do this anymore. I need you to help me. And until he says, I don't want to be like this anymore, and he wants to do it, no one's ever going to get through. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter how you punish him. It doesn't matter if he gets in trouble. It doesn't matter if he has a life-threatening thing happen where he almost dies. Until he wants to stop, he's not going and to. It's not even and it's, just some a, point, it's not even just this particular. It's, it's everyone that's been in between. Like, I'm always the problem. Like, why are you a magnet for this type of stuff? So you got to learn how to recognize it and say no. Because one thing I had to learn, you have that heart where you feel like you can help everybody. Like, okay, so they have a problem. I can help them. And that's great. You have a heart of gold. But here's the thing. You cannot save everybody. And it's really hard to learn. It's, it's hard. It's hard to understand that you cannot fix everybody and you cannot save everybody. Because you want to. You want to. But you can't. So until that guy is ready to make changes for his own own self only, as selfish as that sounds, he has to work to do it for him. Okay, so I've, ne I've never out. had anyone in my whole life. I'm older than you. I've never had anyone in my whole life tell me the simplest of things that you think you would know that you. you well, I do remember that. Yeah, like I remember you hung out with us a lot because your family was a little shitty. I remember. I do remember that. I remember that. I understand. Because, my dad wasn't because, the best. Why do you think I was over there all the time? Megan, Megan, you know your family always had family reunions. I've never in my once, my whole life, been... I was always invited to your family reunions. Like, I was a little side piece. And, right. I, and I felt so wanted because I never experienced that in my own family. That's Uncle Rusty for you. Because I love him. I love him. Yeah, that doesn't happen at my dad's house. My dad's a piece of shit. My dad treats Rusty like shit. But that's his brother. Go. That's a, Is he older or yeah. younger? My dad's the baby, and he's a piece of shit. So what? You know? how, how many yeah. people? How many people were on like your your brother? I can't remember his name. You don't have to say his name. It was your your brother Rusty. Was that it? Uh, Sharon. They're Sharon, the sister. Oh, yeah. I've, yeah. Oh. oh, yeah. She's right up there with Grandma Rachel, though. They both, like, have monkeys that fly. So. And then there's Cindy, my dad's, uh, Your ex. Wife. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. The, yeah. That softball-playing lesbian-looking bitch. You were yep. a child. You were oh. a child. Mm -hmm. I loved you, no, Megan. I loved, I loved you for your crazy humor. I, even though you may maybe not accepted me, I loved your humor. Oh, I always accepted you, don't you? That's why when I found out you're like, I don't know, and I was like, look, let me tell you something. I don't talk to those people. I'm not, I'm not cut from the same cloth. I never have been. Never happened. That might be what their problem is with me. You know, uh, when I, I still care realize, about Amber. I still care about her. Amber, she's she is actually she she does really well. She's doing good. She tells me that she's happy. Um, she does like these little crafts. So every now and then I put together a box of like random pieces, like teeth and stuff from like the animals, and she makes craft pieces, and she sells them. Like she goes to these like little conventions, and I think that she does well. She actually helped me. Not too long ago, I did an audition, um, and this was just for fun, because I, I love Halloween. I mean, I get it honest, right? Uncle Rusty can't marry. Halloween's my shit. But there this was an ad out Halloween. for this. Yeah, I, um, so I do uh, murder mystery dinner parties. 
every uh, every other weekend. I go to this uh, event center and I dress up and I host these murder mysteries like Rocky Horror and stuff. Um, but I had to audition for it and I get paid 120 bucks just to go dress up and have a good time. Um, so I do that when I'm not on call. And where is that? Virginia oh, Beach? I can't pretend to care about myself so much, but if it's not bringing me to real life, what does it, what does it matter if I'm not bringing me? Hey, Jessica, can you hear me? Yes, can you hear me? Hey, so my husband is out of town right now, and I don't know how this... Does this guy, Josh, have your phone hacked? What do you mean? Can you... Can he listen to your conversations? No, he wouldn't even know how. Okay, well, somebody has been blowing up my husband's phone from a private number, and they just sent him a text message, and my husband doesn't know who you are, right? And he just called me and said, what the fuck's going on? I said, nothing, everything's fine here. And he goes, okay, he goes, so why am I getting phone calls from a private number? And he just got a text message that said, tell Megan to get the fuck off the phone with Jessica Boyle right now. I don't fucking I don't fucking Someone know. I have not been talking to any I've literally been talking to you this whole time, so I don't right. know. So Somebody, thinking, who who would know? I know it's not you. You didn't text him that. Someone was able to get his contact information and knows that we're on the phone. Yeah, these people are fucking disgusting. These people like whether you like Josh or not, these people have been fucking with him his whole life, and because it, I don't care if it's me or any other woman that wants right. to be in his life, they want to destroy these people. So if you want to like not talk to me anymore, that's fine. No, 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 you're fine. I just wanted you to know that my husband—he's two hours away right now. He is at a ranch. So, so, these, these people so, are obviously, somehow. these people are stalking me on every given level. How, how on earth would they know they were able to get my husband's phone number, and they've been calling his phone, and they sent him a text that just said, they haven't texted me, but they said, tell Megan to get off the phone with Jessica Boyle right now. And I'm like, that's creepy as shit. So I said, I told David, I said, let me call you back. Let me let Jessica know what's going on. I would that screen, you know. I would screenshot that and give it to your okay. FBI because these fucking people. Okay. okay. Well, let me have him do that. I'm gonna call you back, okay? I will call you back. Okay. Let me call him from what you're telling me. That way he knows. Because he's a real nice guy. He was just like, what the fuck is going on? I'm sure, I'm sure he is. These people, it doesn't matter if you're a nice person or not. They want to destroy anyone that is connected to me. Who are these? His trolls. Josh's trolls. Josh's trolls? He's he's 33. I'm 40. I know you're younger. I'm 40. I'm, I'm 39. Okay. I'm 40. Josh is 33. He's been on YouTube since he was like 18. And these people have been after him since he was a young guy because he's eccentric. Hey, hold on. He's doing a screenshot. I got a phone number. It's probably a goddamn fucking fake number. Who is it? What is Hold on. Oh my god. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh my god. Stop. You said what was And then, and then it fucking, like, brings me to some page that shows me nothing. Where do I get to go back on this? Okay. Yeah, that brings, well, it, 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 it basically brings me back to nothing because, do you know what, like, fake phone numbers are? Right. I do. Okay. Let me hang up real quick. Let me call him. I will be back. I'm not going to stop talking to you. Don't worry about it. Now, he's out of town, so I'm going to have to feed my dogs. At well, some even, point. If you, even if you do, that's fine, because that's what these people want. They want this for don't worry Josh. About it, hurry. You, I know, but they don't, get that, they don't get that result from me, okay? I know, You're but... You're not going to get that result from my husband. It's alarming, and I see that this is obviously a really creepy and serious issue, and it has my full attention, because this is not okay. Okay, so if they're listening to my conversation, somehow they were able to get my husband's phone number. That's fucking insane. Also, um, they 
you know, and, and we're calling him. And so they don't have the balls. So if you're listening, you don't have the balls to call my phone and talk to me directly, okay? So obviously you have no balls. Second of all, we're not scared, okay? Grow the fuck up. This is why I love this you, is, Megan. You're just like this me. It's not an issue for me. It's not going to become an issue for my husband. He doesn't appreciate being harassed. He's a really nice guy. He's not so much of a nice guy, okay? Once he feels like I'm being threatened, he's calling me back. Let me talk to him. I will be back in touch, okay, baby? Right. Okay. Hello? Why are you pretending like you did? Oh, you want to help yourself? You didn't tell me you were recording me, and then you cut out all of your convers. Why was all of your conversation cut out? My conversation doesn't pick up on an Android. Oh, excuse. It's not an excuse. It is an excuse. Did you tell me you were recording me? No, you didn't. So where's your excuse for that? Oh, when I'm recording, it doesn't excuse excuses, right? Where where? How much have you been drinking today? How much have you been fucking smoking crack? Did you ever tell me that you were recording me? Because if you were, I would have hung the fuck up on you. No, you need to get your life together. And you need to get your life together. Where the fuck did you say that you were recording me? No, you've been recorded. And you know you've been recorded. You're being... How the fuck do I know I'm being recorded if I'm not told I'm being recorded? I'm not supposed to you fucking... You can't even remember half of the stuff that you say to me. You can't remember the things you DM me. Like, you're not remembering anything. Um, if I wanted to re remember what I DM'd you, I could literally look back. Phone calls, what are you talking... Can you focus on the conversation at hand, you stupid dumb bitch? God, you're... Christ, you're a dumb bitch. Christ, you're stupid. Oh, I know I'm being recorded. No, the fuck, I don't. How much have you had a drink, you stupid son? How do you find this? Oh, I know. You don't get to tell me I know. No, the fuck you don't. Not after the fact. I know I'm... No, that's not how that works. How much have I had to... What does that have to... Do, what does that have to do with me knowing you're recording me? No, it doesn't. You sound stupid. You sound dumb. I'm supposed to know I'm being... Without being told, I'm supposed to know that? Oh, so then I assume things. Josh tells me not to assume. You sound dumb. Hey, hey, babe. Hey, listen. Look. Hey. Hey. Yeah. No. All right. So look, this guy said his name. Hold on, I got a screenshot. It is a disconnected number. They're they're porting numbers. He says he's in Katy, Texas. He's like pretty much. And my husband said that the numbers, the text messages that. Uh, this guy just sent to him, they've already disappeared like they don't exist. Okay? So we've got a real problem. I called the number. How do I get this off of my ugly face? Look at my ugly face. Uh, um, look. How do I do that? How do I do it? I don't know how. I'm not tech savvy. I don't um, Okay. Um, so, here's what's gonna happen. I can hear you talking to somebody. You said that they were recording your phone calls? I don't know who is recording me. I don't fucking know. Oh, just so you know, I have, uh, because I've had legal issues, like, I've had issues with Guadalupe County, so if they're recording your phone calls, like, I've literally had issues with the cops in this county, and I've won every single case. I have sued the police department here, and they've had to pay me a settlement. So Guadalupe County cannot fuck with me. So whoever's recording this, okay, um, can understand that. But yes, I do record all my phone calls because when I had this case happening, I was catching them in fraud. But I don't use it for anything. I'm not recording anything against you. Okay? So if it's showing up on your phone that something's being recorded, that could be me. But, but, somehow they were able to get my information and my husband's information. But again, they don't have the balls to call my phone. So I called this number that texts my husband. And it's an inactive number. 
but yet it was able to send text messages to my husband. He said his name was, hold on, I'm going to pull it up. See if you recognize this name. I have no idea who that person is. Well, he claims that he lives in Katy, Texas, which is not too far from me. So now my husband's concerned that some somehow these people are going to show up. So my husband wants to let me know, wants me to know if I law enforcement. Um, yeah, so, let them absolutely let them know because his fucking trolls will stop at no. Okay. I've right. literally yeah. had some girl say, I've been recording you for your own. Oh, you need help. Oh, you can't even have a conversation when you're not drunk. Okay. So what about when I'm sober? Nobody's ever had a conversation with me. Um, you literally recorded me the day after I had to go run into a hotel because I didn't want to get my head beat in again. The, you, okay, you, so you have you ever filed anything with Virginia Beach? <laughs> no, I'm not because it didn't happen here. It didn't happen there. It happened somewhere else. Okay. It happened so in Casper, guy... Wyoming. It happened in Casper, Wyoming, Casper, Wyoming. But this fucking Casper. bitch. This fucking bitch, the day I went to a hotel because he smashed his phone, it had nothing to do with me, but I didn't okay. want to become part of his problem. I went to a hotel. She was okay. recording so my heart. She was recording. Who are you talking to just now saying, why are you recording my phone calls? Like, you're not allowed to have any friends. This fucking person that was fucking talking to me when I went to a hotel after the night, he smashed his phone, saying, oh, you can't talk to people when you're sober. You can't. This person recorded me in the fucking hotel, my whole conversation. Okay. Oh, I'm protecting you. I'm d No, the fuck you're not. He had another number, too. Another number called 931-627. I don't know. These people give the, these people. I can file a report down here for harassment on me and my husband in the state of Texas, but for them to correspond with you and BB, um, they're, it's called a telecommunication thing, but, um, yeah, no, you got a real problem. Um, don't worry about that. I'm not going to stop talking to you, but I have, a, I have a problem because these people don't ever stop. Right. They and really the people, um, the people that pretend that they're for me, when I literally went to the hotel when my boyfriend smashed his phone into a million pieces and wouldn't shut the fuck up for over an hour that I needed to leave because he had already choked me twice and bashed my head into a fucking wall that I did not want him to do the same to me. And they're saying, right. oh, I can't even talk to you when you're not. Okay, no, you don't get to do that to me because I've been sober plenty of fucking days when nobody has fucking talked and nobody has done anything to fuck except you recording my conversation that you didn't tell me was being recorded and giving it to fucking fate. That's not protecting. And right. oh, I need help. Okay. Yes, the fuck I need help. I've needed help since I was like eight years old. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do, um, I'm going to trace this number. I've got to feed my dogs. Like, like I said, my husband's out of town, so i got to feed my dogs. i got to secure my dogs. I do have to run to town. I'm going to trace this number. My mom is also a skip tracer, which means she could actually debunk all these numbers and actually find out where it's coming from. Um, so can the police department. Um, what you do need to do, though, and this is what I'm going to encourage you to do. I love you. Everything I told you prior to this was everything I feel in my soul, okay? But you have got to stop contact with these people. Stop doing stuff on Facebook. Like, don't post any more about it. Anybody that you think is associated with these people, block them. Go through your Facebook, anything that you've posted about it, okay? Yeah, these, clean it up. these people can't get them. I, I've literally got 35. Just clean it up. I've, clean got, it up. I've got 35 people on my Facebook, and people have only been deleting me. So I'm, I'm pretty, right. just, I'm pretty. Just clean it up. If you want to, like, maybe deactivate the whole page and maybe start a new one and don't add anybody else, you know what I mean? Do that. I'll add you. But get rid of anything that you can associate with them. And I want you to download a recording app on your phone. Some of them are free. I pay $20 a year for mine. But the trial period, the app I use to record all my phone calls, um, it's free for like a month. Um, it's called Cube ACR. It's a recording app. 
um, and start recording all your phone calls um, so that you, because all of these things, like if this were to get like any more serious, your recorded conversations are admissible in court. Okay. Okay. I know this because I've been there, done that. Okay. They don't like the advice I'm giving you clearly. And I will tell you, it's super creepy that they were able to get a hold of my husband's stuff. Uh, these, these people stop at nothing. Right. So you're going to have to take some precautions and you got to do these things for you. I don't want you to get super stressed out about it, but I've already been stressed. I've literally had my period the fucking middle of August and then bleeding the very end of August. And now it's already September beginning of and I'm bleeding again. This is not I right. I, I am. I am. Well, I'm, we're at a certain age, so that could be kind of normal. The uh, stress isn't going to help. But that perimenopause does start, and you might start having them more frequently. So, but stress will bring it on. These people are fucking disgusting. They're disgusting. They're disgusting.
why is my is this charging or where do I start with Jen Kagan? Whoa. She said she opposed abortion 100%. That's a total ban with no exceptions. She even called the ban. Since I haven't talked to you, what? I dream about you, baby. What? 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 Nobody puts it. What is this? There's never been any reason or escape for the trees. The more I learn, the more I fell in love. You songs are like 20 minutes long, and I still live for a whole Thank you. 
And thunder, I be all the signs of the crimson thunder. Who's the thunder, baby doll? I'm the thunder. So, uh, where's my other crimson red? My crimson red. Where's my other crimson ball? I had one, I had two, but. Yeah, whatever you have. You, you had to play that song 500 times. Good for you. See, we don't have no Red Bull. We don't have no Hennessy. We don't do it. You had Red Bull and Hennessy last night, but not right now. I'm not about to feel we can. You got me lying on my back. I will be forgiven. Why you gotta act like that? Make me bad for you. You want me to try? 
Josh, I was like, what, what does Casper have, like, you're, you're in the middle of, no I, I, this had nothing to do with Josh, because I didn't know he existed, literally, as a child, you learn about Casper, and then before Jeffrey moved there, and then when Jeffrey moves there, and then you find out about Josh, and then, it's like, what is this fucking beautiful, if you don't see Everyone has their own definition of beauty, and that's fun. People come here, and they, I've lived here my whole life. I hate, it has nothing to do with, oh, I'm pretending to like stuff, because just, because Josh, I, I I see why Josh doesn't. And, and if Josh literally got to see where I would, just for you in a few days, would have driven him around the most I could. I'm ready to go back, and I would not blame him. We have almost a million people, I don't, the last I looked at it, the, the, the thing was so out there, oh, you have almost a hundred thousand people here, so, so, you, you, you're literally only three hundred thousand people off, oh my god, who cares, you have the land for, you have the land, you have the land. I literally, as a child, let my anxiety take loose, and by, like, by the time I, I'm a dog, there will be no land left. Yeah, maybe not Virgin Beach, but there's still land left. Yeah. There's still land left. You, you can go to Wyoming, you see out the plane. Out. My, I, it's not my fault I fill my head up like that as a child. I don't have anyone in the wiser telling me otherwise. My whole life here, we had no land, no land. Because every, every pit of... Every every bit of Virginia Beach they want to build up. You couldn't say that about Casper. Oh, you want to? Oh, you want to build? You can't say that about Casper because they have so much land there. Virginia Beach, you get protective over what little bit you have, and then and then they turn it into something. <laughs> oh, I do love that many people make the worst out of. I love Josh. I love water. I literally have. Oh, I still have relatives that live there. But I don't. I had to make sure that my well, my my relative, and they're not. But the fact that I have rel and Wyoming is be okay. It's landlocked. I'll life. I'll never live in a landlocked state. But what have you gained from living here? You've gained nothing. Wyoming is so beautiful. Josh is beautiful. He's got a beautiful mind. People make the worst of him. You want to make him a spec, and then, and then. I see him for who he literally made him watch him at my own true job. Watch him laugh from cheek to cheek and he, he does this because you people. Like, how would all of you birth to someone? Abortion? Because the way the f I would think otherwise. I, would, I love him for- I love him for thinking in division because I, I'm older than Josh. I was taught think for yourself, but then when you think for yourself, and, and then, oh, you're questioning authority, you're doing this, you're doing... No, you've been taught and to ask questions, and then when you do, you get in trouble. She's <laughs> sweet. God damn it! That will smash you in smithereens right now. And who are you, you and you? I, I don't know who any of you are. Five years, yeah, exactly, five years. I don't know who, yeah, I don't know who you are. I wish I knew an instrument. Josh literally said we could make our our music album. And I tried to tell Josh one of my lyrics one night and he wanted to keep talking about it for his life. I'm only trying to set like a one second little set. I know my lyrics don't. But this was supposed to be a collaboration album between us. Like, it's not just me, it's not just him. It's, uh, it's both of us on every track. Putting a 
to me when it just missed me and I'm trying to only add two one. But that's fine. You have to I give you some and you and I build upon you. I love Sean. People don't know. Love. Nobody takes pleasure in someone else's nobody. My 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 I know my parents never taught me what much in life and they did. My dad would say What's your major mouth? You don't get to laugh at someone's major mouth. You get to announce it, show it to, but you don't. I've never been taught. Oh, I love it. Jenny, but I hate you. Well, it's time for someone in Congress who's serious about security. Hey, that's Jen Jenkins. It'll yeah, I don't, I don't want to hear that. Not one single. If, if, if you fucking think one single person can hear yeah, it, I'm not here. Yeah, I didn't say it. fuck you. But. Thank <laughs> you. 
short time. Can be Oh, you can't talk to me sober. Oh, how many days did I not drink where nobody contacted me? Oh, yeah. Oh, all the days I make you fucking. That's why you're stupid. Are you done? Are you done harassing me? Are you done harassing me? Where is this coming from? Where is this music coming from? Where is this music coming That's what I thought because nobody has spoke pussy. All the signs of crimson. All the signs of the crimson. We will stay by your side. Let our voices be there to guide you. Follow the signs of the crimson. You almost got, yeah, if people are not catching on to you, no, leave me alone, can, can you leave, because the people that have been Rich Lynn, <gasps> it's Rich Lynn, what's up guys, I want to do another reaction video, so you guys really enjoy these long reaction videos, and I feel like I have the gift of discernment, so I can kind of see a sneaky snake when I see one, so I just wanted to just, Review the video and give my commentary. So grab a snack and come on back. Lux here. I'll be watching and reacting to Robbie Christie's newest video. She has two out. Mm -hmm. One of them called Answering All Your Questions. Which cat is this one? Oh, my sunbeam. Sunbear. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. You've been a good boy. You've been my good boy. But he's ever said gooder in my life. I called you a gooder boy. You're better than not that all he's not unless you guys are equal parts upon all I understand that. You're a good boy. You're only a 